Hi guys, Rocky again, welcome back to another video. So this is an epic charity shop stroke thrift store pickups video. I don't normally do these anymore, they don't really do too well, um, but people like to see... Basically I won't do this one because I've got some good stuff, so all the stuff you're about to see I picked up in one weekend, in fact one day. I went around five different charity shops and I was just lucky in every one of them. I'll go through what I've got, um, starting off with the average stuff um, and then working my way up to the best thing, uh, which was ironically the first thing I picked up that day. So, um, the charity shops I go to, they know me quite well, usually if there's any games come in, I usually get first crack at them and I just pay, you know, they're going whatever going rate they want, I get first crack, so uh, I was in there, only bought this because I actually needed a decent case for something, and but it's important charity, so so it's FIFA 15 on the 360. Uh, yeah. It's... Sorry, it's FIFA 12. In fact, oh, it's FIFA 12 in the FIFA 15 case. So, uh... oh, the disc isn't that great. But anyway, I paid a pound for the case because I would rather support in a local charity shop than buy. By an eBay, basically. So, uh, also in the same charity shop, Batman Three Beyond Gotham, and Batman the video game. These are both a pound each. This one needs a new case. The discs aren't bad. Uh, I need to run them both through the JFJ Easy Pro. In fact, I have a absolute stack across there now. I've moved it all. All the JFJ discs. I'm. I'm probably going to keep these for the collection. I'd, my kids love playing the Batman stuff. I, I don't know if I've got physical copies of it or not. Another charity shop I go to, um, a pound. Stuntman Ignition on the 360. I think my boys will like that. Crashing cars and stuff. Uh, yeah. Disc again. While it would play, I'll just quickly run it through the GFJ for I mean, 30 seconds or, or, or a minute and we'll give it a good going up. This one I know has some trading value. 50 pence, Peppa Pig, you can see it's still got the CEX sticker of £8 on it, the disc is trashed, um, to me it looks like it's been through a cleaner before, so, but not done right, so I will do that myself, I will run that through and that will just go into this sort of CEX trade pile, um, for whatever money I get for it. Uh, I don't think it'll be £8, it'll probably be 4 or 5 but certainly more than 50 pence. And I think the charity shop was just going to toss it, if you know if I hadn't bought it, because you've been sitting long enough. Because those of you who don't know, most charity shops, um, you know, I don't know if you've really got to see, but on that there's the price 50 pence, but below that there's a date, so 17-02, so 17th of February, so that's... Most stuff on charity shop shelves is only for two weeks. And anything else they have, they pull off the shelves. Some of which gets binned, and some of it gets sent to their sort of distribution centre, where they'll, they'll try and sell it on in other stores. Excuse me, or things like media. And um, they have, they still, they, they have media buyers who will buy like, like music. I think they have deals with music, music magpie and stuff like that, and they will buy it all for basically nothing. So. Again, it's not in stellar condition, but um, a quick clean up with the JFJ and that'll look great. So that's still not bad. Uh, moving on to somewhere that I don't usually find games, but there was a lot. And I bought, um, how many? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 games. And I did leave quite a few. So these are my, these are either going to be kept, in fact these are probably going to be kept out of the collection or uh, might use was trade bait with other collectors or CX and stuff. So Micro Machines on the DS, that's kind of cool. Um, the, all the DS games were £2, so that's, yeah, it's kind of cool. Bigger Harry Potter Years 1-4. These are all in really nice shape, complete with the manuals and everything, um, really nice. 
you know, sometimes you get kids' games and they're just trashed. Um, I don't think this was particularly good. Horrid Henry's. I bought it because I don't know what it is. It looks like a platformer. So I'm going to give that a go, actually. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Yeah, that was two pounds. Sega and Sonic. Sega and Sonic All Stars Racing. Toy Story Three. I remember I've got younger children as well, so and they've got. So you know some stuff I buy for them to play. This, and they do like a DS. I like the Switch better, but maybe I should have introduced the, the Switch, the DS before the Switch. And finally, Sonic Rush, which looks yeah cool. So I'll play with Team Sonic stuff there. Manual on this one's a bit. There's a small tear in it, and there's a bit. The case is a bit grubby, but I'm not quite clean on it. So they were all two pounds each. The next slot were all four. Which is, we'll see what I've got, I think they were okay deals, um, the majority of the cases, watch just that, majority of the cases are in really nice shape, um, the discs are in really nice shape, and I did leave about another dozen of them, like, and if you know anything about PS1 games, they're as hardy as anything. So, my wife really likes PlayStation 1 stuff, that was her console when she was younger, she bought herself a PlayStation, uh, she loves platformers, so we got Crash Bandicoot 2, again, this case is unmarked, no, no cracks, no kicks, no, the disc's lovely, um, that cost, Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back, it's the silver label version. This is the only one with a damaged case, this is Crash Bandicoot 3. Warped. Oh, there's a small chip in the back there. But. So Crash 3, Warped. Again, silver label. The Flintstones, Bedrock Bowling. Each and every one of these is complete with the manual, and as I, I keep saying, the discs are unmarked. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Rayman 2, The Great Escape. Great puzzle hit game, Bust the Move 2. This, I think, uh, I think I bought it because I wanted a decent case. So, um, for Crash 3 there. So, um, Dance Stage Euromix. So that one I bought for the new case, or maybe Pops, maybe this one, Popstar Maker. At one time I had hundreds of PlayStation 1 games that I paid no more than 50 pence or a pound each for. Now, finding them at all in charity shop is hard, very, very hard. These are the first ones I've seen in a long time. And for anything, well, four pounds is... Uh, what's this one? ATV Quad Power Racing. I, I, I bought most of these to keep for a collection for my missus because she's really into PS1 right now. I was never a big fan, so more for her. Heart of Darkness, again the best of edition, but I've heard good things about this, I've never actually played it, so that's what I'm going to look at. Disney's Tarzan. My wife loved this as a kid, it was so happy when I brought this home. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Spyro, Year of the Dragon. And finally, oh, this one's got a, oh. I think I might have cracked this. No, no, I must have had a crack in it. And this one doesn't have a manual. But again, this is another one that my wife liked to play. I remember I'm telling her that. It's uh, Disney's Dinosaur. I mean, if you know anything about PlayStation 1s, you know there's like a thousand games for it. So, so that in itself was all a really good day's pickups. The next thing, I was at the till in a charity shop and I happened to glance down while I was speaking to the woman who was serving me. 
and at the bottom they had in the display cabinet. Uh, I was like, oh, is that what I think it is? She's like, oh yeah, yeah, it's, um, now this charity shop is not cheap. Um, they don't sell crap, they sell good stuff, like really good stuff. It's more of a boutique than a charity shop. Um, I've had some really nice stuff out there in the past that, that I've kept for myself. You know, if you're looking to buy it, you sell on, then that's not the shop for you. But for, like, really nice stuff, that's where you go. Like, they do really good women's clothing, guys' clothing. Um, the sort of brick a brick type stuff they do sell is really good. Um, I've had some lovely collectible VHSs. Uh, what else did I buy? Oh, and a lot of vintage board games out there. I bought a lot of them. In fact, I bought almost all of them. I bought a lot of PlayStation 1 games that are about far, three years ago now. I just bought the entire box. Um, again, it wasn't cheap, but they were good. So this. A woman said it had been in there for a long time. And no, they, had, they had priced it maybe so they knew exactly what it was worth. But she cut me a deal. It is a Nintendo Game & Watch. From 19... It's 82 on the back. It is Fire Attack. Now it was a bit mouldy when I bought it. I have cleaned it quite gently. It came with a back came with a battery cover. Um, battery contacts are clean, and very unusually, it came with that, the manual. So this is Fire Attack Game and Watch from nineteen eighty two. I'm going to make a separate video on this, I think, maybe. I don't know. Um, probably. It's in really nice shape for the age. It's not much younger than me. This is not getting resold or traded or anything. This is mine for me collecting. Uh, and it worked perfectly well. I threw two batteries in it and fired right up. Clear as day. My kids actually like playing it too. So I paid £50. They had it at a hundred and she gave it to me for fifty. They seem to sell between about sixty and maybe a hundred, depending on the conditions. Some with boxes, some with manuals, one without. But I thought fifty pounds, and again, it's in a charity shop, so that you know goes to support people in need and stuff, rather than you know somebody on eBay. Which, to be honest, yeah, anyway. But yeah, that's the best thing I bought in a charity shop in a very long time, and it was just said it'd been there. Months, so I must have walked past it God knows how many times. Just right at the bottom of one of those like IKEA display glass cabinets, right in the very bottom, right in the corner. I just saw it went, saw that profile and went, I know what that is. I have owned a few of the years and I've I bought one at car, bought one at an auto jumble about twenty, no, about ten years ago, fifteen. I paid about three quid and I ended up when my first child was on his way, I had to sell that and I could go about. That one was quite unusual and I got about a. I've got about a hundred for that one. I can't remember which one it was. But so that's Nintendo Game Watch 1982. What was saying? 1982, made in Japan. Beautiful with its manual. And that was fifty. So that was an expensive day. But some really nice collectibles there. That's the best stuff I've found in a charity shop. That was all one day. That was the best stuff I've bought in a charity shop in a very long time. So I um, hope you liked that video. Tell me what you think below. What are your best pickups in a charity shop? I'd actually be really interested to hear. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.